My name's Ray Arntz. I'm, I've been um, diving out here a while now. I started diving uh, in the 60s and stopped and actually got trained and certified you know, around a little past 1980. I finally got certified out here. Been playing with it a long time. Developed an immediate interest in uh, locating things. I had some mentors that were fairly significant for this business. Started playing with wreck diving, lobster diving early on. Did years of Thursday runs in San Nicolas for lobster in the early days. Did almost anything I could think of in wreck diving. Started learning how to research from some of the old timers, some of the early guys from California wreck divers, Cliff Kraft, Dana McDown, okay, even Jerry Smith was a bit of help on some of that stuff. Got me started on it, then I started running into people. I started working on the Mr. C after the uh, Wild Wave stuff. Tom Rawson has been running boats since he was 18. He's, he's now getting close to 50. So he was probably on his fourth issue and had been around since the early days. A great person to learn uh, commercial boats from because he's a tug operator. His, and his, uh, <laughs> his stepfather is a guy by the name of Paul Husaby. He used to run a boat called the Blue Sea in the very early days. Also divers. So we, we've got a little bit of history behind it. Started diving. Uh, a guy by the name of Lee Strite on the Thursday runs taught me all about lobster in the early days. Okay. Without these guys, I'd be nothing, but they've, they've taught me an immense amount about this ocean and what's out here. I love diving in California. I've been doing this forever now. I dive in California almost exclusively. A little bit in Mexico, but primarily in Southern California. There's so much to see and do here. I can never dive the stuff that I already know. I'll never be able to cover it all. On that note, what we do up here is, is we try to make sure that uh, we operate probably the most knowledgeable vessel on the West Coast anymore. Okay? I mean, there's fishermen out there who know a lot more than I do, but uh, they don't know what they're looking at. Okay? Some of them are really good with depth sounders, but they still don't know what they're looking at unless they're divers. Well, when we when I started working out here, I started working on some of the older boats. The boats have been around a while. And the more I rode around and worked on boats and discovered what was going on, the more we looked at it and, and said there's a better way. There's, uh, there's some operations around the countryside that are very professional, but there really isn't a lot of that going on in Southern California. So we looked at it and said what we need to do is, is acquire the best boat we can that it, uh, is within my capability to maintain and improve and to make it the cleanest, nicest, best dive boat we could make out of it. The idea being that, that if we get the boat to, to the class and quality that we want to see, we'll be able to show divers under a lot more convenient okay, um, venue all the things that there are to see in Southern California. And that's where we started that process. Now what we're trying to do is expand on that theme a little bit. When we started this process six years ago, uh, I purchased a Sundiver and went to work on getting it into to shape for what we wanted it to be. Uh, about two years ago now, we added to the fleet Sundiver 2, it's a 33-foot crystal liner, fairly new boat, delivered in December of 2004. Fairly high-powered diesel. It's a fast venue to anywhere we want to go. We run it, operate it as a six-pack. And, uh, and it can go virtually anywhere within the venue and do anything we'd like to do with it on a moment's notice. It cruises at 27 knots for the most part. One of the main reasons that I've elected to operate vessels in Southern California is this ocean has more diversity and more life than anywhere else I've seen. Not only do we have kelp forests and the kind of life that exists around kelp forests, we still have a fairly healthy fish population. There's all kinds of things to do here that you don't see anywhere else. Okay, soft corals that don't exist anywhere else on the planet. Pelagic fish. It's just an unbelievable experience to dive out here. And conditions vary during the course of the year, but we can have visibility in excess of 100, 150 foot very often in excess of 50 foot, 
which is more than you're basically going to need to be able to work within the depths that sport divers are working. It's an absolutely beautiful environment. We can show you incredible amounts of diversity along this coastline and the island chain. So welcome to Sundiver Charters. Pick a boat, come visit us.